The plug-in capability of SDR Uno has become one of the most popular new features. In this video, we're going to look at the use of the Community Plugin Installer. An updated version of the Contour Shuttle plugin has just been released, so that would be a good example to illustrate the correct use of the Community Plugin Installer. But first, let's review the two types of plugins. There are the SDR Play plugins, which have been developed by SDR Play themselves, and in addition to that, there are community plugins, which can be developed by users or by third party software developers to allow for an easier interface to their software products. So let's head off to the SDR Play website and download the relevant installer. We can follow the downloads link in the top navigation bar and then input the type of RSP we have and the operating system we're using. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a link for SDR Uno plugins. If we click on that, we get a choice of either the SDR Play plugin installer or the community plugin installer. But right now, we're going to go back and instead pick the SDR Uno link, which also gives us the option to download SDR Uno itself. When you download SDR Uno, you get the complete package. It's a single download that gives you the SDR Uno program, the API, the drivers, the SDR Play plugin installer, and the community plugin installer. So if you're just now downloading SDR Uno for the first time, or upgrading your installation, that would be the link to choose, and you will not need to download any additional pieces of software. Each release of SDR Uno will include the currently up-to-date list of available plugins. But plugins tend to change fairly frequently, so what happens if a plugin is updated between releases of SDR Uno itself? And that's where these plugin installers come in useful. So if, for example, you saw a notification in the SDR Play blog, or maybe in one of the user groups, that there had been an update to the SDR Play plugins, that would include things like DX Cluster, DAB, then you would want the installer for the SDR Play plugins. On the other hand, if you were looking to make an update to one of the community plugins, you would want to download the community plugin installer. And that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to click on the download link on the lower right and wait for the software to download and then run it on our system. We can click on open file and the installer will open up and start running and then we just follow the directions. I prefer to leave it to install the plugins in the default location but you can always change it if you want to put it somewhere else. When the installer's finished running, then we can go and start up SDR Uno. At the top of the SDR Uno main window, we can click on the plugins button and it will show available plugins that have been installed. If you don't see the ones you just downloaded, right click to the left of that window and it will allow you to select the download location you have used for your community plugins. We can now select Contour Shuttle from the list of plugins and then Load Plugin and we'll see the control window for the device. Select your particular Contour device you have here and uh, then if you click on Settings you will be able to assign the buttons. You can either use the default settings that are already there or configure it for your own purposes. At this point, I'd just like to insert a little note for people just installing their shuttle for the first time. If you already had a Contour shuttle device installed on your system, you should have no problems. But if you're just installing it now for the first time, although Windows will recognize the device and load some sort of drivers, that's not enough you need to take a little trip to the Contour website and download the rest of the drivers from there and then you'll be able to use it successfully with SDR Uno. 
Once the installer has finished, we can go back to SDR Uno and have some fun. I've inserted a little view of my uh, Shuttle Express so you can see what's actually going on. So we can start up SDR Uno. Once SDR Uno is open, we can start the stream and I've tuned in here to the uh, local AM broadcast band. Next, we click on the plugins button to open up the plugin window, select contour shuttle and load plugin. Once the window is opened, we can click on the settings button and then we can use that to work on the button assignments. We have a choice. We can either use the predefined settings or we can set them up to suit our own purposes. For example, here, button one is set to define the mute. And as you see, when I press the uh, button, the mute is turned on and off. By default, button three toggles the squelch on and off. And you can see as I press button three, the squelch indicator turns on and off. Now what's interesting is that by default also, the outer ring can be used to set the squelch level. As you see here, as I turn the outer dial, the threshold for the squelch level indicated by the horizontal line in the spectrum window moves up and down accordingly. Cool stuff. And as you might expect, the inner jog shuttle dial has been set up to adjust the VFO frequency. And as you see, as I turn the dial, the frequency will move up and down. If you don't like the predefined assignments, you can change them to suit your workflow. For example, I like to use the buttons to switch between the different modes, AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband, etc. So all you have to do is to select the button of interest, scroll down the list of actions and find the ones you want. As an example, what I've done here is assign button two for AM mode and button three to FM wide stereo. And now you can see as I press on buttons two and three on the dial, the mode changes up in the RX control window. So overall, we have a lot of customizability here, even using the low end shuttle express dial, which I have here. And uh, I think we owe a debt of gratitude to Eddie McDonald for writing this plugin for the SDR Uno community. So in summary, Use the community plugin installer anytime you hear that an update has been made to one of the existing community plugins or a new community plugin has been added to the library. If you want further information about plugins or anything else to do with SDR Play, please feel free to visit our website. Thank you for watching. 73.